What if the most powerful telescope in history has just shown us something we were never meant to see? What if everything we've believed about the origin of our universe, about time, space, and reality itself, is collapsing under the weight of new evidence? The James Webb Space Telescope, designed to peer into the earliest light of the cosmos, has delivered data so unsettling that a Nobel Prize-winning physicist has broken his silence with one simple, terrifying message. This is not our universe. What exactly did Webb find at the very edge of everything? And why are scientists warning that it could rewrite the very foundation of cosmology? In one unassuming corner of the sky, filled with light that has traveled for billions of years, Webb captured what looked like a small yellow splotch. But when astronomers analyzed it, their understanding began to unravel. That faint glow wasn't just another galaxy, it was the most distant galaxy ever observed, formed just 290 million years after the supposed birth of the universe. Here's the problem. It's far too massive, too bright, and too developed to exist so soon after the Big Bang. Our current theories say there wasn't enough time or matter for galaxies like this to form. And yet, here it is. It's not an isolated anomaly. Webb has now found dozens of similar galaxies, each a violation of the rules we thought governed the early cosmos. Some of them aren't just massive, they're entirely unlike anything we've seen before. In normal galaxies, about 10% of available gas is converted into stars. But Webb has discovered at least three early universe galaxies that turned 100% of their matter into stars. No gas, no dust, just pure, blinding starlight. This shouldn't be possible under any known model of galaxy formation. The deeper scientists looked, the stranger the picture became. Some began to ask whether these even are galaxies at all. Could they be relics from a previous cosmos? Intrusions from another universe? Or vast structures from dimensions beyond our own? To grasp why this is so destabilizing, you have to understand the Hubble sphere and the limits of the observable universe. The farther away an object is, the faster it moves from us because of cosmic expansion. Beyond a certain distance, galaxies recede faster than light itself, meaning their light should never reach us. And yet, Webb is detecting light and signals from beyond this theoretical boundary. That should be impossible unless, we are seeing past the edge of our own universe. This revelation has triggered even more radical speculation. What if the universe never had a beginning? What if what we think of as the early universe is actually a fracture point? A place where two realities overlap? Or where something far older is bleeding into our own? Then came something even more puzzling. While studying the faint background noise of the universe, Webb's instruments detected a rhythmic oscillation, perfectly timed, repeating at precise intervals. It isn't a pulsar. It isn't gravitational waves. It isn't any known astrophysical process. It's being called the heartbeat beyond time. Some researchers think it might be a signature of exotic matter that exists only outside our universe's boundaries. Others go further wondering whether it's an encoded signal, placed deliberately to be found. And Webb has found something else, something it wasn't even looking for. In the farthest reaches of its observations, there are massive gravitational distortions, bending light and shaping space where no visible matter exists. This isn't the same as dark matter, it's something else entirely. A few theorists now suggest we might be seeing the gravitational, shadow, of another universe overlapping ours. And in one particularly daring proposal, they describe a mirrored reality, a universe running in reverse, with time flowing backwards relative to ours. Webb's data has revealed odd asymmetries in galaxy rotation that could be hints of this hidden twin. Finally, a discovery that left even veteran scientists speechless. Light from an impossibly distant source that should have faded forever, returned. It came back from another direction, carrying the exact same spectral fingerprint, like an either space itself is bending so perfectly that light loops back on itself, or something at the furthest edge of our reach is reflecting it. Not dust, not plasma, not a cloud of gas. Something vast, something solid. Something that by every law we know, should not exist. When the James Webb Space Telescope launched, it carried humanity's ambition to see the beginning of time itself. 
We thought we understood what it would show us, stars, galaxies, cosmic history unfolding like pages in a book written billions of years ago. But somewhere in its mission, Webb began to return images and data that didn't match the script. Things that were not supposed to be there. Things that don't fit the timelines, the physics, the very structure of our universe. Galaxies that should have taken billions of years to grow seem to have appeared almost instantly. As if something, or someone, skipped the slow process of creation. Webb has seen patterns repeating across unimaginable distances. Mirror images of star clusters and nebulae as though some hidden geometry is shaping reality. These are not coincidences. They are too precise. Too deliberate. Like a reflection in a cosmic mirror. And then, came the rhythm. At first, it was nothing more than a fluctuation, an almost imperceptible pattern buried in the deep field data. A faint rise and fall in energy across wavelengths, repeating every few weeks. Webb's engineers thought it might be an artifact of the instruments. But the pattern persisted. The signal was real. It is not noise. It is not random. It is structured. Like a heartbeat in the darkness. Some scientists believe Webb may have reached the ultimate horizon. The edge where our universe ceases to be and something else begins. Others are more radical. They say it's not an edge at all. It's a wall. Not metaphorical, a literal construct. A barrier. As if our cosmos is enclosed, contained, sealed inside a larger architecture. If this is true, the universe we've spent our entire history exploring is not infinite. It is a chamber. A bubble suspended in something far larger. A deeper structure, a greater reality. This would mean we are not drifters in endless space but inhabitants of a designed enclosure, a universe built within another universe. And that enclosure, might not be empty on the outside. If the pulse web detected is from beyond, then it is not merely an echo of some ancient event. It is happening now. Something beyond our reality is still moving, still alive, and perhaps still watching. Imagine, for a moment, the scale of this truth. We have debated for centuries whether we are alone in the cosmos. We have searched for signals from alien civilizations, scanned the skies for radio transmissions, flashes, anomalies. But what if we've been asking the wrong question? What if it's not about life within our universe, but life outside of it? What if the universe we inhabit is just one layer in a greater hierarchy of realities? Consider this. If space is curved just right, light from our own galaxy could circle around the cosmos and reach us again. But if space is bounded, if there is a surface, then light might bounce, reflect, or be redirected. What Webb has seen could be our own reality, reflected back to us from something vast and impenetrable. Something that has been there all along, hidden at the ultimate distance. The patterns, the mirrored galaxies, the phantom masses, these may not be glitches in physics. They may be the fingerprints of that boundary. And if it is artificial, then it was made for a reason. Some theorists go further. They suggest the boundary could be a kind of filter, designed to allow certain energies, particles, or even information through, while keeping other things out. Or in. If so, we are not free wanderers in a natural universe. We are subjects inside a controlled environment. And then comes the most unsettling possibility of all. If there is a boundary, then someone, or something, might be on the other side. Not just observing, but maintaining it. Repairing it. Adjusting it. Watching what happens inside. The signal web detected could be a byproduct of that maintenance. Or it could be intentional. And if it is intentional, then it is a message. We do not yet know what it says, or even if it is meant for us. But the fact remains, it is there. The deeper we look, the stranger it becomes. If this theory holds, then the edge of the universe is not the end of everything. It is the start of something larger. Something we cannot yet map. Something that makes our entire cosmic history seem small. And here is where it gets even more strange. When Webb peers at this mysterious horizon, the light it sees is ancient, billions of years old. 
which means whatever is there has been there for longer than our planet has existed. Longer than life. Longer than the stars of our galaxy. If it has already seen us, and it must have, then our presence is not a surprise to it. We are latecomers to the stage. Visitors who grew up inside a sealed room, unaware there was a door. And now, maybe that door is starting to open. Perhaps what Webb has glimpsed is not a reflection, but the first crack of light from beyond the frame of our reality. Perhaps we are not meant to see it yet. Or perhaps, this has always been the plan. If so, then the question facing humanity is no longer whether intelligent life exists somewhere in the universe. The question is whether we are about to be introduced to something that does not even share our universe at all. We thought we were exploring space. But maybe space has been exploring us. The edge of the universe is not silent. It is not empty. And it is not still. Whatever is out there, whatever has been there since the first spark of creation, it has already seen us. And the more we look for it, the more it seems to be looking back. The greatest danger is not that we will find it. The greatest danger is that it has been waiting for us to look. And now, 